Hey, Michael, it's Men's Health. We're here to see your gym and fridge. Hey, what's up? I heard you're here to see my gym and fridge. Come on in. Let's take a look at the most important part of the house for an athlete, the refrigerator. What staples do you have in your fridge? I always have meat and vegetables in my fridge. Ground elk, ground beef, free range eggs, salmon, cram, my on the go PB and J's. I always have mega fit meals as well. So my mega fit meals is what I use during training camp. Vegetables, we got spinach, broccoli, carrots, cucumbers, peppers, and beets. My wife roasted some beets last night. What's the toughest diet you've tried? The toughest diet I ever tried is all 30 times that I have made weight for my mixed martial arts fights. If I work hard in the kitchen, pull the right things out of my refrigerator, put the right things in my body, that weight cut is gonna be easier and my performances will be better. That's the most important thing. What do you eat the night before a fight? The night before a fight, I like to keep it pretty much the same as I've been eating all camp. High protein, high fat, maybe a little bit of sweet potato, maybe a little bit of rice or a gluten-free pasta, but nothing too heavy because my body's not used to that throughout an entire training camp. What do you usually have for breakfast? I am actually not a big breakfast guy these days, but if I do have a breakfast, I'm doing four to six eggs scrambled with some vegetables and maybe some bacon. And my favorite sauce, coconut sriracha, ninja squirrel. Great name, ninja squirrel. What are some of your favorite comfort foods? And when I'm straying off and I need to feel like a normal human being and just eat some regular food for a second, it's definitely pizza. What goes into your protein shake? Protein shakes, I prefer chocolate. It's gotta have a frozen banana in it. It's gotta have frozen fruit in it. Goji berries, a little bit of spirulina. I like crushed up nuts in my protein shakes. Almonds, cashews, walnuts, a big nut mix. How has your diet changed over the years? I think my diet has changed in the sense that I don't, I don't eat a lot of carbs anymore. I used to eat breads and pastas and that kind of stuff. I kind of switched my body over to eating a lot of meats and fats. So avocados, grass-fed butter, a little bit of fruits and a little bit of vegetables. Do you take any supplements? Yes, I take a lot of supplements. I believe being diligent with my supplements is what has led to the longevity of my career, my overall health, my multivitamins, micronutrients, minerals, electrolytes numerous times a day, especially first thing in the morning. First thing in the morning, I take a cold blender bottle that I put in the refrigerator the night before with two scoops or a scoop of electrolytes, maybe a little bit of pink Himalayan sea salt. Chug that in the morning before I get to my coffee. That's most important. Chug your electrolytes in your cold water before you get your coffee in. How do you take your coffee? You wanna talk about coffee? I love coffee. Let's talk beverages. So this is the food fridge, my regular fridge. And then in here is our pantry. This is where we have our beverage fridge. And of course, every morning I start with a nice cup of coffee. So we have a Fisher and Paykel espresso machine. I take a nice big long black coffee, add a Dopio espresso to it, big old scoop of coconut oil and a non-dairy creamer. Start my day with after I chug my electrolytes. So what's in that beverage fridge? We love carbonated waters. We do not discriminate here. We love bubbly, LaCroix, Waterloo, Nixie. We love them all. Gotta have the monsters, zero sugar. Uh, the white one is my favorite. Second favorite is the orange. So I got those stocked up. A couple kombuchas, lime juice, cause I like to add lime to my carbonated water every now and then. I'm drinking two gallons of water a day. And then every now and then I like a little bit of uh, taste. So we've got a little bit of dark chocolate in here. Love dark chocolate. My wife likes cold brew. So we've always got cold brew here as well. All right, now that you've seen my fridge, my beverage fridge, my coffee machine, let's go take a look at my gym. My personal gym, 24 seven, I can hop into my suffering sanctuary and get after it whenever I want. How often do you work out? I'm training mixed martial arts every single day. Monday, Tuesday, we're doing MMA stuff. Wednesday, I'll do my strength and conditioning. Thursday night, we do individual MMA stuff. And then Friday afternoon, I will do my strength workout. What does your workout look like when you're preparing for a UFC fight? Do a lot of strength plus speed equals power where we're lifting weights and then we are taking the weights off and then we're doing something explosive to create power. My fights are always explosive. I try to be as powerful as I possibly can. So I've been trying to do that over the last 22 years and it's worked out really well for me. How has your training changed over the years? 
When I first really started lifting weights, I really focused on just kind of static strength movements to get stronger. Now that I am a mature 36 year old man and I've been lifting weights, shoot for 20, 20 something years, I focus a lot more now on functional movements, fast, powerful, explosive movements, so I can step into the octagon and be as fast, powerful, and explosive as I can. You've been in the fight game a long time. Any tips on avoiding injury? I honestly think the people who are able to avoid injuries the most are the people that lift weights. Even if it's just 20 minutes, even if it's just one strength movement per day is going to, in my eyes, bulletproof your knees, bulletproof your shoulders, bulletproof your elbows and joints. Also, listen to your body. I use a roller every single day. I do think that my longevity in the sport is definitely attributed to my attention to detail of myofascial release and using my roller every day. So make sure you have a roller, use it every single day. What other kinds of training do you do outside of a traditional workout? So aside from traditional strength training and my traditional MMA training, I do love getting out on the trails and running, throwing on some trail running shoes, running through the dirt, running through the mud, running through the woods. There's some really great trails here in Nashville, Tennessee. Any day that you can get out in, in uh, God's creation out in the woods is, is a good day. So I like trail running. What keeps you motivated? Man, what keeps me motivated is honestly just the fact that I'm living a dream. You know, I've gotten to be a professional athlete now for 14 years in mixed martial arts. I wake up every single morning excited to get to do what I do. And then now that I have a wife and I have two sons, I have mouths to feed and I have people that are relying and depending on me. So to give anything less than my best is to sacrifice the gifts that they deserve and the life that they deserve. So I wake up every single morning feeling grateful for the opportunity to be a UFC fighter. All right, Michael, are you ready for some rapid fire questions? I am, let's do it. Actually, I'm gonna up the stakes. Follow me. What better way to do rapid fire questions than in a 47 degree ice barrel? Workout time, 7 a.m. or 7 p.m.? Ooh, 7 a.m. Squat or deadlift? Squat. Favorite song on your workout playlist? Ooh, NF, The Search. Crossfit, yay or nay? Crossfit, yay. Pull-ups or chin-ups? Pull-ups, back over biceps. Dumbbells or kettlebells? Dumbbells. Run the treadmill or the great outdoors? The great outdoors. Cardio or weights? Weights. Big legs or big arms? Mm, big legs. Biggest compliment, jacked, ripped, cut, or swole? Ripped, because that means you did extra work in your lean. If you could work out with anyone, dead or alive, who would it be? Dwayne The Rock Johnson. Wow, Michael, that looks really cold. I'm freaking freezing. I appreciate you guys coming to my house, checking out my gym and fridge, but now you gotta get out of here, because I gotta get on with my day. God bless, I'll see you at the top.